Trust no one, not even family. Trigger warning, my story includes details of rape. This is something I have never fully told anyone I know, I have shared a lot of it with my boyfriend, but he cannot exactly handle hearing the full story, it makes him so sick and angry for me. I told a therapist, but she told me I was lying only because she knew the person involved. I would like to be referred to as anonymous due to the sensitivity and the person involved still being free. My sister and I are, well were, very close, our father was very physically abusive, and we lived alone with him for 13 years, so once we finally were free from that we stayed close, I lived with my mom, and she lived with her husband. But I had frequently stay at their house for about 6 years, as I started staying when I was 10, I guess I should say my sister is 10 years older than me, and her husband is 12 years older than me, once I started getting older about 14. Along with our usual playing video games and watching movies we started smoking weed together on my visits. It was so fun and I loved hanging out with them. One day when I was about to turn 16, I noticed her husband started acting strange towards me. I kind of shrugged it off as me just being paranoid because of trust issues with men due to my past. As time went on I knew it was not just me he would text me very sexually inappropriate questions, asking if I had sex yet, and hinting that if I were to get a boyfriend he would be very jealous, this worried me a lot, so I told my mom and showed her the texts. She told me he was just playing, and he did not mean anything by it, I was very frustrated because I knew deep down in my gut this behavior was unacceptable, but my mom was a smart woman. And I found usually she was right about things, so I put it in the back of my mind. He would occasionally text me weird things after that mainly just calling me cute or something subtle, and I would just pretend I did not notice. I did however show my cousin some of the messages when we were at family Christmas, and she then said, I did not want to say anything, but he looks at you really strangely, it gives me the shivers, I felt relieved in a sense, because now I knew someone else believed me. I readdressed the issue to my mom, and she reassured me we are just overreacting, so I decided to give it a rest, fast forward 6 months, I'm 16, and it's summer break, so I go to my sister's house as usual, because the weird behavior calmed down a lot. We played games and got high all night without incident, I went to bed and slept about 10 hours, and it was about 10 a man could not sleep anymore, my sister, her husband, and their roommate were all asleep still so I decided to watch some TV. About 10 minutes after turning on the TV I hear someone coming m downstairs, and her husband comes and sits on the other couch, and says morning what are you watching, and I'm like, oh I just turned on the first thing I'm not sure it was some weird little cartoon. He laughed awkwardly and looked over at my shirt that had Invader Zim on it, and said while walking across the room to the couch I was on, I love that shirt it's cute, and started loading a bowl in the bong, I felt extremely uncomfortable and said thanks. He then kept messing with the bong, and I tried to act very interested in the show, as he handed it to me to hit it, I hit it, and it tasted a little funny, but the bong was pretty dirty, I sat and watched the show for a while more, and then I started to feel pretty drowsy. He was watching me and said this show is silly, just like you, you are very silly, and he started forcibly kissing me, I was very shocked and scared, and I tried to pull away, then realized I could not move, or make noise of any sort I was heavy, and all I could do was look in horror as he forced himself on me and stripped me, I just kept thinking my sister is upstairs how is this happening, it remember it hurting so bad, and him whispering how much he had dreamed of doing this since he first met me, he first met me when I was 9, I just felt pain, tears running down my face, and absolute terror. All of the sudden there's creaking on top of the steps, and he hurried and put my shorts on my now dead weight body, and went to the other couch, it was their roommate, he looked at me and did not say anything, but by the look in his eyes and the way he looked at my sister's husband he knew. Next thing I know I'm waking up to my sister saying it's 2pm are you ready to go home? I could not talk. All I could muster was a very confused dazed nod, and it all went black again. I had horrible nightmares in a seemingly endless sleep and woke up again to my sister saying, come on it's 9pm mom's pissed you have to get home, I was so dazed still, I could not remember much, I could not form sentences, but I knew what happened. 
He was still there in the room holding her on the couch across from me after raping me not even 12 hours before. I know I should have said something, but I was in such a fog I barely walked myself to the car I do not remember anything between sitting in the car and waking up at 9am the next morning to my mom very pissed that I was sleeping so much and telling me I had to do chores and she was leaving for work. I stayed in a fog not feeling right for days and did not say a word. I did not tell anyone till a month later, when I confessed to my mom what happened, she called my sister to which she said, I know they had sex, we are in an open relationship, and she told him she wanted it. If you try and press charges I will kill myself considering the past with attempts from her, my mom believed this and told her okay, but I do not ever want him near our family again, and told me it had been taken care of, I was hurt, no one did anything about it. Sure I never have had to see him again, but five years later my sister who was once my best friend is still married to him, and he has never once had any consequences for his actions, I did not put all the pieces together until about two years ago. I chalked up the passing out and grogginess for days as an effect from trauma, but now I realized he never smoked out of that bowl, I got date raped by the man I had considered a brother with my sister right upstairs, the worst part is I thought of him as a brother. And he has a sister the exact age as me, and I have to wonder if I'm his first or last victim. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video hit that like button to support my work. And as always enjoy the fear my dear.